Hi everyone. My name is Vijay Kale, Chair of FASEB's Early Career Representative Engagement Task Force. In this short video, we'll be going over highlights from the task force final report with best practices and recommendations for scientific societies to best engage and support their early career scientist members. The task force split its findings up into five themes. the first of which is networks and mentors scientific societies are strongly positioned to connect societies beyond local geography and their institution structured programming like matched mentor pairs and networking sessions help broaden perspectives on various scientific disciplines and career paths such activities may serve early career scientists well in their future The second theme focuses on career exploration and career transition readiness. From an online survey, early career scientists most frequently cited early stage career preparation as their most important professional development need. And this finding appeared to be particularly true for scientists who come from communities that have been historically excluded from the field. when asked about readiness for career transition overall almost 80% of survey participants said they feel they will be prepared for their next career transition however when broken out by career stage academic postdocs immediately stood out as having higher than average feeling of unease to transition career stages programming and awards from scientific societies can help combat negative stereotypes about pursuing career paths other than academic tenure track and support from societies to prepare the next steps can help ease the difficult time of career transition third the task force firmly believes that scientific societies as standard bearers of their field play an important role in promoting safe and inclusive in work environment some small but meaningful actions to promote inclusive excellence and to change the culture of science to be more welcoming are diverse diversifying leadership supporting affinity based groups for members and creating and enforcing a harassment policy and code of conduct next The task force recognizes that carving out a career path as an early career scientist is always challenging but those hurdles and barriers are exacerbated for temporary visa holders the fourth theme in the report focuses on supporting international scientists in the united states although scientific societies cannot change the complexities of visa process there are other ways to support these members for example intentionally highlighting international members through scientific talks helps build the members network and their cv plus creating space for peer mentors or more traditional mentors based on this shared identity may help combat feelings of isolation when navigating the scientific ecosystem in the united states as a foreign scientist finally The task force believes it is important for scientific societies to purposefully incorporate the perspective of early career scientists for the scientists themselves this gives them a meaningful opportunity to be engaged in the society and for the society making space for early career scientists leaders can keep those members involved in the mission of the society as a lifelong champion one way to ensure scientific societies include the early career scientist perspective is to have at least one designated early career representative on the highest body of governance the final report includes much more data best practices identified and concrete examples we invite you to browse the report for yourself to spark a dialogue at your scientific society